Live from Worthen Arena on the campus of Ball State University, it's the 2023 Chirpies. Performing for the 2023 Chirpies, please welcome one of Billboard Music's artists to watch in 2023 from Nashville, Tennessee, King Calloway. Chirpies, how are we feeling tonight? Are y'all ready to have a good time? We're so happy to be with y'all today. We are King Calloway. We are from Nashville, Tennessee. We're getting this party started. Y'all ready to have a good time? Mm. All right. I see those hands in the air. If there's a quarter in the jukebox, spinning on Brooks and Dunn. Boots scoot across the dance floor, country gusts turning up. If I can hear them bottles popping, I'm nice dropping in a glass. Think I may just chop them if it sounds anything like that. And it sounds like a good time, like music to my beers, like a soundtrack to a good night. It's all I want to hear. And not all the sound of me on buzzing, whiskey pop. Good time to me, sounds like a good time to me. Chirpies, we here to have a good time. Sounds tonight. like a good time to me, sounds like a good time to me. And then the beats, the sounds, the fans, the clapping, people packed in a honky tonk. That's a party worth the crashing. My ears don't see me wrong. And it sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. Like the music to my beat, like the soundtrack to a good night. That's all I want to hear. Soundtrack to a good night. That's all I wanna hear. I love the sound of me on the whiskey pour in my drink. It sounds like a damn good time. Sounds like a damn good time to me. Sounds like a good time to me. Like a good time to me. Sounds like a good time to me. Like a good time to me. If there's a quarter in the jukebox. Y'all know how to have a good time. Come on now. So this is our first Chirpies that we ever been to. So y'all do this every year, right? And y'all have a good time every year? All right, you guys ready? Well, as Chad mentioned, we're a band out of Nashville, Tennessee, but we're kind of from all over the world. And it's really, really cool to be with you tonight to celebrate all your incredible achievements. And um, we were talking to the president earlier, and he was just saying, man, the athletes, they're just not out there. They're not just incredible athletes, but incredible people. So we just, it's so awesome to be with you guys tonight. And thank you so much for having us. This is a song called World for Two. This was our first ever single. And um, if you know it, please sing along. Sometimes I think this world's too much All the hate, all the hurt, all it takes is a human touch It's so easy to get lost in a lie Make a change, make a choice for the noise, you can drown it out Meet me out where the stars turn blue Come on, touch the sky and enjoy If you like love is too good for you I wish that I could build the world that's too good for you I wish that I could build the world that's too good for you 
wish that I could build a world for two. Yes, I do. Kiss me like there's no one else from by. Take it fast, take it slow, let it go for a little while. Heaven is so close to the boat. A world far too hard. Alright, right, you guys feel like doing some singing? If I you, I build a world for two. I see y'all singing out there. Come on. Well, we got one more for y'all. Just one more. But we'll be back a bit later after the show. Again, we're King Cow. We're gonna leave you with this cover, all right? If you know it, please sing along. A heart on the run keeps a hand off a gun. You can't trust anyone. Let me hear if you know it. Come on. But I was so sure what I needed was more. Try to shoot at the sun. Days when we raised, we flew off the page. Such an image was done. But I made it through Cause somebody knew I was meant for someone Let me hear you, boss, say, come on So go leave your boots by the bed We ain't leaving this room To someone needs medical help for the man It's cold in this house and I ain't going out to chop wood. So cover me up. I know you're enough to use me for good. Come on, boy. I put your fate to the test when I tore off that dress in Richmond on. But I sobered up, I swore all fast forever this time. And the old lovers say, I thought it'd be me who'd help him get home. But home was a dream, one I never 
Welcome to the stage, new Ball State Athletic Director, Jeff Mitchell, presenting Male and Female Rookie of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, King Callaway, one more round of applause. With so much collective talent in the room we're gonna have a little fun this is the audience participation part of the program my name is jeff mitchell i am privileged to serve as your new director of athletics how many of you believe that you're really good at what you do every hand goes up right how many of you believe that you're really good at what you do yes how many of you believe that because you're really good at what you do especially well, the athletics front, then we're going to be able to dominate the MAC. That's the simple vision, okay? We're going to dominate the MAC. So find a teammate or whoever you're sitting next to and give them a high five. Down. Man. Now we're connected. Now we're connected. Now we're great teammates. Now we're connected. Now we're great teammates. And because we've got so much talent in this room, we're going to have some more fun too, okay? Because I believe that there are no limits as to what we can accomplish together, okay? So we're going to do a little cheer so the world knows if you're not here, you're missing out. If you're watching at home, you're going to feel this energy through your social media, okay? So here we go. We're going to split the crowd right down the middle to my left, your right, your go. That's all you have to say, okay? Easy. To my right, your left, you are Cardinals, okay? Go Cardinals. We're adding a layer to it. It's going to be go Cardinals, and then to my left, your right, it's no. Really easy on your part. It's go and no on the right. Cardinals and limits. So it's going to go, go Cardinals, no limits. And we're going to do it three times. Okay? Three times. On the count of three, 
No cardinals, no limits. So we count at three, we'll do it three times. Ready? One, two, three. Now, let me tell you a story. This is a story about the big animals versus the little animals. Big animals versus the little animals in a game of football. And as you can imagine, the big animals are dominating the first half. It's not a contest. Halftime comes around, big animals up 70 to nothing over the little animals. But the second half is a little bit different. So the big animals have the ball again to start the second half run the first play, the Tiger goes around the right side, wham, immediately hit for a five-yard loss. Little animals go back to the huddle, and the ant says, who made that tackle? And the centipede says, well, I made the tackle. Second down comes around, the bear runs around the left side, bam, immediately hit for a five-yard loss. This time the gnat says, who made that tackle? A centipede said, well, I made the tackle. Third down, big play for the big animals. The elephant has the football, runs it right up the middle. Boom. Seven-yard loss. And the cricket says, man, who, who made that tackle that time? And the centipede says, well, well I made the tackle. And the cricket says, well, man, where were you in the first half? We could have used you. And the centipede says, I was in the training room getting my ankle stake. Some of you guys, some of you guys right now are thinking, that rookie. And so it's fitting tonight that I get to give the first two awards. It's the rookie of the year. The rookie of the year is an athlete who excelled and made a huge impact to their team during the first year of competition. This could be either a red shirt or a true freshman. Here are your nominees for Female Rookie of the Year. Here are your nominees for Female Rookie of the Year. Fleur Nopert, Field Hockey. Nopert was named to the All-Mac First Team and All-Mac Freshman Team, while also winning Mac Offensive Player of the Week three times. Delaney Caldwell, Soccer. Caldwell won MAC Freshman of the Year and was named to the All-MAC Second Team while also scoring three match-winning goals. Elena Springer, Track and Field. Springer set personal records in the 60-meter dash and 200-meter dash and has qualified for MAC Championships in both events. Zoe Middleton, Gymnastics. Middleton is the only freshman on the team to have contributed in more than one event, competing in vaults, floor, and bars. All right, this is going to be good. The female rookie of the year from field hockey, Lord Dopper. Congratulations. Fleur Noper came to Ball State from the Netherlands and immediately brought the intensity. Floor was awarded MAC Offensive Player of the Week three times. It was a member of the All-MAC First Team and All-MAC Freshman Team after leading field hockey to its highest MAC finish in over a decade as the team's leading goal scorer. Now here are your nominees for Male Rookie of the Year. Here are your nominees for Male Rookie of the Year. Tanner Koziel, football. Koziel finished the season with 373 yards and seven touchdowns, including a touchdown grab at Tennessee in his first collegiate game. 
Brady Hunt, football. Hunt finished with 498 yards and five touchdowns and was named to the 2022 All-Mac First Team and First Team Freshman All-American. Jakob Wershinski, men's volleyball. In his freshman season, Wershinski is top five on the team in assists with over 200 and is seventh in blocks with over 30. Blake Beavis, baseball. Beavis is tied for the team lead in home runs, including a two home run game at the Citadel on April 7th. Jacob Sewers, men's swim and dive. Sewers holds the season best time for the Cardinals in the 200 freestyle, the second best time in the 100 freestyle, and the third best time in the 50 and 500 freestyle races. All right, the winner of the Manal Rookie of the Year from football, Brady Hutz. In his freshman year and first season playing tight end, Brady Hunt was named first team All-Mac and was awarded first team freshman All-America honors from College Football News and the Football Writers Association of America. Hunt caught 46 passes for 498 yards and five touchdowns. Thank you guys. A lot of people I can I can thank, but you know this just as well. Could have gone and it. Um, lots of people out there, you know, that help you do it. But ultimately, you know, God is good. Uh, he blessed me with great abilities, and um, I'm doing it for him. I appreciate you. Welcome to the 2023 Chirpies. For the first time since 2019, the Chirpies are back. So in case you're newer to Ball State, Here's what you need to know about the biggest night in Ball State sports. Tonight's show is in collaboration between the Student Athletic Advisory Committee and Ball State Sports Link, with support of Ball State's Office of the President and Ball State Athletics. All of tonight's nominees and voting was conducted by SAC and representatives from the Athletics Department. Tonight, 42 athletes and 11 teams have been nominated for 16 awards. And new for 2023, all of our winner's trophies are presented by the Cardinal Varsity Club. For over 60 years now, the CVC has brought together alumni and friends of Ball State to collectively invest in student athletes who value excellence, integrity, and service. Now, please welcome the host of this year's show, the voice of the Cardinals and Ball State graduate, Mick Tidrell, and a senior on campus and in SportsLink, Madison Surface. All right, everybody, can we give a huge round of applause to our new director of athletics, Jeff Mitchell, for getting us started with Dean Calloway. How about that? A month in on the job and a fantastic job Jeff Mitchell's already done. Can't wait to see what he does to lead the Nest Four. I'm Mick Tidrell, two-time graduate of SportsLink, and that's not because I failed, but that's because I got two degrees. Um, but it's super engaging. It's super fun to be on this stage and share the night with everybody because of what each one of you have done to perform so well in the class, in competition, and with your teammates. And if you just take a look around, like what Jeff was saying earlier, at teammates, friends, family that are here tonight, everybody has accomplished something so big. Everybody is here for a reason, and the respect, the love, the care that everybody has for one another makes this athletic department extremely special. So give a round of applause to everybody here because you make Ball State University, a special place. Hi, guys. Whoa. We're going to back it up a little bit. <laughs> My name is Madison Surface. I am a senior, so I've got about a week left. Woo! Uh, I am a SportsLink student like Mick, and that means that I've gotten to spend the past four years working with each and every one of you athletes and coaches and creating those relationships. And I could not be more blessed and more thankful to be standing on this stage and getting to celebrate you guys tonight. What a put away for me to get to go out. <laughs> Next award, we were going to have Charlie Cardinal because Charlie's strong. Charlie can lift. Charlie's swole. 
But the problem is, Charlie can't talk. So, we got the best next best thing. Sports Slings Jordan Climbs and swimmer Noah Berryman to introduce our Iron Cart. Y'all, it's happening. The trophies are back. Ha, yeah. Well, none of this would be possible without our sponsors and, of course, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee and all the hard work they put in to making the trophies come back to life. My name is Noah Berryman, and I've had the privilege of serving as your SAC president this past year, and it's been an absolute honor to work with all of you. And a lot of you are probably wondering what SAC is and what it does. Well, this. These are the things that we do. We work on campus to try and make it a more fun and interactive place and try to connect ourselves with the athletic administration. And if you're interested in joining us next year, there will be a QR code you can scan at the end of this. Now let's get into the Iron Cardinal Award. And as Mick so lovingly said, I know Ch Car Charlie Cardinal is not up here to give this award, but I think we're the next best option because both of us are really big guys out here. So uh, it's going to be really fun. All right. That, that wasn't supposed to be fun. <laughs> Nominees for the Iron Cardinal Award were selected and voted for by members of the strength and conditioning staff. Can we just Here are your nominees for Iron Cardinal. Adam Tellier, baseball. Tellier exemplifies strength of character and leadership as it relates to the team's physical preparation in the weight room. Hannah Ruthberg, gymnastics. Ruthberg is always one of the Cardinals that you can find in the weight room. She tirelessly works to perfect her craft. Michaela Timmons, softball. Through recovering from an injury that cut her 2022 season short, Timmons has come back in a big way thanks to her time training for her return. Megan Teeter, gymnastics. Teeter is constantly making herself and team better through intense training and focused preparation. Real quick, can we just give it up for our strength and conditioning staff for everything they do? This athlete exemplifies strength of character and courage of leadership as it relates to the team's physical preparation in the weight. They are consistently pushing themselves and their team to new levels in the weights and conditioning. And the winner of the Iron Cardinal Award is... From baseball, Adam Tellier. Adam Tellier was awarded Iron Cardinal by the strength and conditioning staff for his performance in the weight room. Tellier exemplifies strength of character and leadership as it relates to the team's physical preparation in the weight room. He is consistently pushing himself and his team to new levels in the weights and conditioning. Well, I guess there is a lot of people that I could thank, but a uh, special shout-out to Eric Van Matre, our strength and conditioning coach, and uh, shout-out to the boys up there. Wouldn't be up here without you guys. And uh, thanks. Here. One of the top teams in the Mid American Conference right now fighting for that regular season championship. So, before we get into the next award, we want to honor those who have won a Conference Player of the Week. So, if you've won a Conference Player of the Week in your respective sport, everybody please stand, give everybody a round of applause. It's won a Player of the Week. There we go. Congratulations, guys. Now, it is my honor to introduce 
Our next award presenters, we have Michaela Memer Miller, excuse me, a swimmer and a SAC member. And then we have Emma Potter, track star, sportsling girl, and my best friend. Thank you, Madison. I love you. So for our next award, these, these Cardinals have had an amazing season in the past year. There have been draw dropping and unforgettable moments. This Cardinal moment of the year is ESPN Sports Center top 10 worthy. It's a video of an exciting play routine or event that was jaw dropping. Here are your nominees for Cardinal Moment of the Year. Here are your nominees for Cardinal Moment of the Year. Women's Tennis. Women's Tennis completed a 12-0 season at home in 2022, which culminated in a MAC championship. Soccer. Sammy Corcoran's goal in the MAC tournament against Bowling Green clinched an appearance in the MAC title game. Men's Basketball. Jalen Sellers' electrifying dunk propelled Ball State men's basketball to a nail-biting win against Western Michigan. Women's Volleyball. Women's Volleyball's reaction to making the NCAA tournament as an at-large bid is what college athletics are all about. And the winner is men's basketball. So sorry. Jalen Sellers' monster dunk against Western Michigan electrified Worthen Arena on January 17th. The one-handed jam over Western's Lamar Norman Jr. made the Sports Center top 10 plays as the Cardinals went on to post a 20-win season in Coach Michael Lewis's first year. First off, I want to thank Allah for blessing me to be here. I want to thank the gang, whoever they at. And they go at the top. And I want to thank my parents, and that's it. Thank y'all. Can we get another round of applause for that dog? How about that? Yes, so I am here with Rhonda Wilson today. She is a former women's volleyball player from Ball State. <laughs> and also a member of the Cardinal Varsity Club. Rhonda, thank you so much for joining us today for the Chirpies. We are so honored to have you here. We just wanted to ask you, what motivated you to want to come back and work with the Cardinal Varsity Club? Uh, Ball State Volleyball gave me, athletics gave me such an opportunity to grow as a person in, in the classroom and on the court. And I just have that passion to give back and help set our student athletes up for success. Absolutely. And thank you so much for that passion. Uh, now, looking around and seeing so many athletes and being a former athlete yourself, what does this mean to see how these athletes are now being recognized? I'm 100% envious of you all. This is so awesome. And just continue to do great things. And congratulations to all of you. Enjoy your evening. Give it up for Rhonda, everybody.
All right. Our next presenter is not only a SportsLink alum, a broadcaster with ESPN, the Big Ten Network on a national stage, also was the best man in my wedding, but he also has more onions than Bill Raftery has during March Madness. Give it up for Connor Onion. Would have been a little different tone to that best man speech if I knew you were going to roast me like that. Thanks, Mick. Uh, it It is really an honor to be back here tonight. This is my first time back in Muncie since I graduated six years ago. Uh, and thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, really, really an honor to be in the room with all of you. Um, I've watched you guys from afar. Um, thanks to Mick for bringing me your games so that I can follow a lot of you while I've been traveling the country with Big Ten Network and ESPN. Um, and it is really awesome to be back here with so many talented people tonight. Um, when I was a SportsLink student, Alex Cartman and Chris Taylor, who are still running the program now, uh, they the, one of the first things they told me was, you never know who's watching you. And 18-year-old me thought, yeah, whatever. My mom's watching me. She thinks my broadcasts are great. Awesome. That was it. But it really hit me lately, as far as it relates to you guys as the coaches and athletes here, just how true that is. Um, last couple of weeks, I've had a chance to travel around the Big Ten, cover spring football, and sit in with head coaches, offensive, defensive coordinators. It seems like every stop along the way, somebody says, man, Mike New, you're a Ball State alum. You got to tell my guy Mike New what's up. Love what he's doing in Muncie. I'm covering baseball. I've, I've tried to get some of the coaches to schedule a weekend series selfishly so that I can cover Ball State again. Um, I say, get a series with Coach Maloney and Ball State. And they always say, that guy's won like four million games in his career. That's, that's a bad deal for our program. We're not doing that. In, in basketball season, it's, you know, it's, it's February every year. It seems to be Brady Sally won 20, win, 20 games again. Of course he did. Of course he did. It happens every year. Coaches around the country are taking notice. Same thing this year. You know, this was the first year on the on the basketball circuit nationally where um, a lot of people started saying, hey, Michael Lewis, he's going to take Ball State men's basketball back to the NCAA tournament. There's There's belief in that. There's belief in that. In the fall, one of the things I get to cover a lot on top of football is volleyball. And it goes, it goes without saying the history of volleyball in this area and at this school, everybody knows about it from California to Maine. Everybody knows about Muncie, about the Ball State program. And without question, everybody talks about the wonderful do job that uh, Coach Miller Phillips has done to continue that tradition. So to, to take me back to my original point that I was told as an 18-year-old when I was, you know, sitting in the stands here, we were getting the chirpies off the ground when I was a sports link student, you really never know who is watching you. And that goes for you guys. I, I know I can't mention every single team. Those are the core sports that I cover. Um, but every single sport, every single athlete and coach in this room, you have helped make Ball State a nationally recognized brand. It's really cool in my travels to be able to brag about you guys and, and celebrate everything you have done. So it's really an honor to be back with you tonight and to come back here and present the Comeback Athlete of the Year Award. So there you go. Full circle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So your nominees first for female come, Comeback Athlete of the Year are... Here are your nominees for Female Comeback Athlete of the Year. Anna Clefane, women's basketball. Clefane suffered two ACL tears during her career, but was the leading scorer of the team the previous two years. Jesse Fraley, women's swim and dive. Despite undergoing both shoulder and hip surgeries, Fraley is finishing her career with a scoring position on the MAC team. Grace Dean, cross country. 
Often unable to walk and forced to redshirt her junior year, Dean has returned with a vengeance her senior season, finishing in the top six in every race. Bethany Moser, soccer. Moser has battled repeated injuries, including a torn ACL her sophomore season. But the starting goalkeeper was a vital part of the team's trip to the MAC championship this year. And your winner of Female Comeback Athlete of the Year is Anna Clefane, women's basketball. After two ACL tears in her career, the second of which ended her season in 2021, Anna Clefane finished her storied Ball State career by leading the team in scoring with 15.8 points per game this season en route to a WNIT second round appearance. Clefane scored over 1,300 points in her career at Ball State. I just want to give a quick shout out to all the other athletes in this category. They've all faced adversity and come out on top. And then I want to give a shout out to my team and my coaches. You guys are the best. I wouldn't be here without you. All right, next, your nominees for male comeback athlete of the year are. Here are your nominees for male comeback athlete of the year. Will McPhillips, men's volleyball. Will McPhillips suffered a non-athletic related injury which forced him to miss the entire 2022 season. Adam Tellier, baseball. After a broken foot limited Tellier to only 15 games, Adam has had a dominant offensive season and has been a team leader. Sajan Smith, men's tennis. Sajan Smith missed all of last season with a broken right wrist. In his first game back, Smith had the winning point against Illinois State. Wyatt Blake, men's swim and dive. Blake broke his leg halfway through the 2021-22 season, causing him to be out most of the year. Blake has dominated on the diving boards in his return this season. You guys are good. Your winner is Will McPhillips. <laughs> Will McPhillips suffered a non-athletic related injury which forced him to miss the entire 2022 season. Will never gave up and through his hard work, determination and perseverance, was able to get back on the court and has played an integral part in men's volleyball success this season. Wow, thanks guys. I, I'd also like to thank uh, my family, friends, uh, coaches, teammates. Um, I'd also like to say that uh, you just gotta roll with the punches sometimes, whether it's a rolled ankle or a couple gunshot wounds. Can we give Will and Anna another round of applause for all the adversity that they've gone through and they've overcome? Now, guys, before we go any farther, can we give McTidro a round of applause for being the voice of the Cardinals? Now, I had to say something nice because poor cute little Mick here kind of looks like Carl from Up. Uh, he's actually only 27 years old, which blew my mind, but <laughs> he acts like he's 42 sometimes when we work together, <laughs> but he has never done a be real before. And so he asked if we could technically be fake because it's already gone off today and do one on stage with you guys. So get ready. We're going to do one. Ready, Mick? All right. All right, everybody get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Perfect. Thank you guys. <laughs> All right. Now, moving on. The next award we will be announcing is the groundbreaking performance of the year. And here to present is Sportsling's very own Charlie Maller and volleyball player and SAC member Natalie Reese. <laughs> How are we doing out there, guys? As mentioned, I'm Charlie Mauer, but more importantly, this is Natalie Reese. And as mentioned, we'll be announcing the groundbreaking performance award. It's every athlete's goal to set a personal career, ball stay, or NCAA record, and we have a list of those in this category. The groundbreaking performance of the year is a player that set a new standard either in their sport or in Ball State Athletics. Either broke a record, reached an amazing milestone, or even earned a big award. Here are your nominees for groundbreaking performance of the year. Here are your nominees for groundbreaking performance of the year. Angelina Russo, softball. Russo threw the first perfect game in Ball State softball history as a freshman last season. Charity Griffith, track and field. Griffith has broken school records in pentathlon and high jump and is continuing her prolific career. Telma DeSaugus' daughter, women's basketball. Telma DeSaugus' daughter tied the record for most threes in a game for Ball State women's basketball and broke the record for most threes in a career. Suki Fister, gymnastics. Suki made her mark as a two-time Max Specialist of the Year, scoring a 9.90 or higher in four meets this season. And the winner is... Lena Russo, Southbound. On April 20th, 2022, Angelina Russo threw the first perfect game in Ball State softball history as a freshman. She threw 98 pitches in seven innings to retire all 21 batters she faced, 10 by strikeout. Oh, a big shout out to my team. Literally could not have done it without them. We were relentless. Oh. And just couldn't have done it without them, so thank you. One more time for Lena. I mean, how many no hitters has she thrown? Next up, we have a special performance from Ball State Code Red, one of the biggest supporters on campus. Everybody give it up for Ball State Code Red. To perfect the beat, check me out. Hey, I'm representing for them pages all across the world. Still taking my time to perfect the beat, and I still got love for the streets. It's the DC. Put your back into it. Put your back, put your back, put your back into it. Don't 
stop, get it, get it. That's real. The Chirpies are brought to you by Victory Honda of Muncie, Wolf Boom Radio and 96.7 Blake FM, The Cardinal Varsity Club, Feed the Bird Foundation, Roots Burger Bar, The College of Communication, Information and Media, and 18 Concessions. Welcome to Sports Center on a Monday night. I'm John Anderson. Plenty of sports to talk about, but tonight on the Ball State campus in Muncie, Indiana, it is all about the Chirpies. Back for the first time since 2019. I know I miss them. I know you miss them. Just like the ESPYs here at ESPN, it's your version of the award show presented by the Ball State Student Athlete Advisory Committee and produced by the rock stars, uh, my peoples there in Muncie, Ball State Sports Link. Already tonight, Will McPhillips from Men's Volleyball and Anna Clefane from Women's Basketball honored with Comeback Athlete of the Year. Congratulations to them. Your campus party planner, head coach Michael Lewis, Jalen Sellers, Men's Basketball recognized for the Cardinal Moment of the Year. And coach, just set aside a couple of cold ones, a frosty, I'll be at the nest next year. How about softball's Lena Rousseau winning ground baking performance of the year for the first perfect game in Ball State softball history. Oh, by the way, did that as a freshman. How's my windmill? Coming up, male, female athlete of the year, coach of the year, team of the year, and President Jeffrey Mearns will present the award for heart of a Cardinal. Congratulations to all the student athletes nominated tonight and to the SportsLink crew on a terrific show. Everybody enjoy the rest of it. And as always, from here in Bristol, Sports Center to Muncie, chirp, chirp. Special thank you to John Anderson, friend of the program, friend of Ball State, friend of Ball State Sports League. One more hand for John Anderson over there in Bristol. And moving right along, here to present the female outstanding senior and male outstanding senior, we have Deputy Athletics Director Haven Fields and SAC member and field hockey player Nadia Bridell. Well, stay calm. Good evening. The Cardinal Varsity Club, known as the, the known as the CVC, has been serving student athletes since 1960. Its purpose: enhance the experience of, for the academic success, competitive excellence, along with a holistic focus for uh, personal and career development. Tonight. The CVC and its board, a board of directors, are excited to be a proud sponsor for the Chirpies. To all our student athletes, congratulations on all your success and what's to come. It's my honor to have Nadia join me this evening to represent the best of all of you. To honor our seniors and our graduates who have truly giving all they can in the Cardinal and White. Nadia, I'm going to pass it off to you. This athlete is leaving their mark on their program. They display leadership and have impressive resume of athletic accomplishments. Here are your nominees, Here are your nominees for Female Outstanding Senior. Megan Teeter, Gymnastics. Teeter had an impressive outing this year, posting one of the highest scores of all gymnasts on the floor routine with a 9.900. Apsara Sokman, Women's Swim and Dive. Taking part in freestyle and backstroke events, Sakbin set four relay records. 
Telma DeSaugus Daughter, women's basketball. In her senior season, Telma shined and was able to become the all-time leader in program history in three-pointers made. Charity Griffith, track and field. Griffith qualified and placed fifth in the high jump at the 2023 NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships. And the winner is Megan Teeter. Megan Teeter has been a leader on and off the gymnastics team. She was named a captain as a sophomore and has competed in the lineup all four years. During her time at Ball State, Megan qualified for NCAA regionals as an individual for bars her sophomore year and set the school record for bars this season with a 9.950. She is also the vice president of the Student Athletic Advisory Committee and was named a top 100 student at Ball State two years in a row. Yeah, uh, thank you guys. I just need to thank my team. Um, I couldn't have done it without them, without their love and support. And of all my coaches, my family, and my friends, I really wouldn't be here today without any of them. So thank you guys. Here are your nominees for Male Outstanding Senior. Here are your nominees for Male Outstanding Senior. Caleb Jenis, Men's Volleyball. The grad student was the MEVA Player of the Year in 2022 and led Ball State to a berth in the Final Four. Demarius Jacobs, Men's Basketball. The senior averaged 11.9 points per game and 3.9 rebounds per game while helping the Cardinals reach the MAC tournament. Nick Jones, Football. In his final year with the squad, Jones earned a spot on the All-Max second team and grabbed two interceptions against Murray State. Owen Shea, men's swim and dive. Shea earned All-Max second team honors while helping the Cards break the program record for the 400 medley relay and record time of three minutes and 12 seconds. and your male outstanding winner, Caleb Jenis. Caleb Jenis has defined Ball State Volleyball since stepping on campus in 2019. His name is among all of the hitting records in school history and led Ball State to its highest seed ever at number two in the NCAA championship a year ago. He spent the summer of 2022 playing on the U.S. national team. Jenis was the 2022 MEVA Player of the Year, earned first team AVCA All-Freshman accolades, and was named to the 2023 All-MEVA First Team. Um, I'd like to say thank you to all y'all that come out and support us every year. Um, I'd love to see your face in the crowd over the last five years. Um, additionally, I'd like to give a shout out to all the fifth-year seniors here today, especially Felix Agareba. My, my, um, he's been here since the beginning with me. Uh, and lastly, I'd like to say thank you to my team, uh, my coaches and my parents. They're all spectacular and I love them all. So thank you. And Caleb. Now we wanted to take some time tonight to talk about a little history that's been made recently. Uh, head coach of the baseball team, Rich Maloney, with 600 wins. This is the most ever in BSU history. Coach, where are you at? Stand up. Rich Maloney, where are you at? 
Another legend in the coaching ranks at Ball State. Connor alluded to him a little bit ago, but Brady Sally has won 200 games for Ball State women's basketball. Brady, I can see you through the lights. Can you stand up for us? Everybody give Brady a big round of applause. Speaking of staff, it's time to introduce our support staff member of the year, where SAC member Aaron Hernandez and field hockey player Elise Warner will present this award. Uh, hey everyone, my name is Aaron Hernandez. And I'm Elise Warner. And before we begin, I just want to congratulate both of my teammates, Will McPhillips and Caleb Jenis, on awesome careers. Uh, Will has gone through a lot, and it's been hard for him this past year, but he's come back stronger than ever. Sorry. Um, with an awesome attitude that anyone could ask for. And Caleb has had an amazing career here at Ball State, and we're all going to miss him so much. So if you all do one last final applause for Caleb Jenis and Will McPhillips. And we're going to uh, announce the sports staff of the year. So behind every athlete at Ball State is a team of individuals who are supporting our every success. From our administration, athletic trainers, sports psychologists, strength coaches, and more, this award is given to an individual who is dedicated to making a positive student-athlete experience here at Ball State. They look out for their student-athletes' well-being and have their best interests at heart. Here are your nominees for Support Staff of the Year. Here are your nominees for Support Staff of the Year. Jason Roberson. Roberson makes the weight room a safe and welcoming place. He always lends an ear or has advice for those in need. Not only is he an expert in his field, but he truly cares about each and every one of his athletes. Sean Clancy. Despite being newer to Ball State, Clancy has become a favorite athletic trainer amongst student athletes. Dan Wenger. Wenger challenges his student athletes in ways that other strength coaches do not, and he makes his players the best they can be. He creates detailed winter break and summer packets and wants them to succeed. Nate Matthews. Matthews has been a consistent supporter of his student athletes. And the winner is Jason Roberson. Jason Roberson is the type of coach every athlete wants in their corner. Ball State's Director of Strength and Conditioning for Olympic Sports, he dedicates a numerous amount of hours to his athletes and wants to see every single one of them achieve their goals. He not only cares about the student athlete's physical well-being, but he cares about their mental and emotional state as individuals. I've worked here for almost 17 years, and every year I'm surprised how much I love my job. And I love my job because of all of you. Thank you very much. I want to thank my wife. I want to thank my staff that I get to work with every single day. You guys make this amazing. Every single day I come to work and I love what I do. Because I get to work with you guys.
Congratulations to Jason. Who else wants to see Jason bring the mustache back? Yeah? Bring the mustache back. Men's volleyball like that. Congratulations again to Jason. Tonight, we wanted to take some time to talk about the student part of the student athlete. So if you have gotten any academic honors in your time playing here at Ball State, would you please stand so we can give you a round of applause? Look at how many student athletes that is. That's an accomplishment everybody should be proud of here at Ball State. Now coming up to present the Coach of the Year Award are two gymnasts, Megan Teeter, you've seen her tonight, and Erica Cooper. How's it going, guys? I said, how's it going, guys? Yeah. Thank you. Congrats again to Rogue. That's a very well-deserving award right there. Now on to the next one. Tonight, we are celebrating not just our student athletes and teams, but the hardworking and dedicated coaches who lead us. The nominees for Coach of the Year have not only led their team to having great success, but they go out of their way to create relationships with the athletes and are committed to helping them excel inside and outside of their sport. Here are your nominees for Coach of the Year. Here are your nominees for Coach of the Year. Rich Maloney, baseball. Maloney led the Cardinals to a 40-win season in 2022, leading to a MAC regular season championship. Joanna Saline, gymnastics. Saline led the team to a program record score of 196.900 en route to an appearance in the MAC championship. Michael Lewis, men's basketball. In his first season at the helm, Lewis led the team to its first 21 season in six years. Caitlin Walsh, field hockey. In Walsh's first season at Ball State, she led the Cardinals to a 4-3 record in the MAC. And the winner is our fearless leader herself, Joanna Saline! <laughs> Joanna Saline's 10th season at Ball State culminated in a MAC regular season championship, multiple program records, and an appearance in the NCAA Regionals competition. She got to the program to just the second NCAA team regional berth in program history. Ball State finished the 2023 regular season with an NQS score of 196.395 to rank 34th nationally. The Cards broke the program record for team score twice in 2023, with the new standard being a score of 196.900, set versus Western Michigan on March 12th. Overall, Ball State registered nine of the top 10 team scores in program history this season. Thank you. We have a lot of amazing coaches here at Ball State, so this is an honor for me. Um, no one gets successful alone, so I have to thank my staff and my student athletes. You guys are amazing, and this is a recognition to you guys as well. Good job. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Joanna. So there's some back championships that's happening this weekend. Can we get women's tennis to stand for the season that they've had and everybody cheer on women's tennis for the MAC championships this weekend?
Best of luck to women's tennis this weekend. All right, so for our next award, we're going to introduce our women's team of the year and our men's team of the year. And to do that, SAC member and soccer player Maria Broering and swimmer and SAC member Betsy King. Well, I just want to start out by saying that you all look incredible tonight. So it's hard to recognize a lot of you not in the uniforms that we're in 24-7. Um, I think I can speak for all of us tonight. We've had amazing seasons from last spring to now. Our teams on the field, in the pool, and on the courts have made us all proud. Nominees for Team of the Year represent the best of the best. This is a hardworking team that who has received measurable achievements in their conference, created a legacy in their program, and positively impacted the Muncie community. Here are your nominees for Women's Team of the Year. Here are your nominees for Women's Team of the Year. Women's Volleyball. Your Lady Cardinals had an impressive season, ending second in the conference with a 24-9 record. Gymnastics. This was our gymnastics team's best season in two decades, clinching an NCAA regional appearance. Women's basketball. This was one of the winningest seasons in women's basketball history, 26 wins with a 15-1 record at home. Women's tennis. All State Women's Tennis follows up another terrific season after coming off a MAC championship a year ago with an 18-3 record in 2023. And the winner is... Volleyball. All State Women's Volleyball capped off a 24-9 season with an at-large bid in the NCAA Tournament. The team clinched their second straight regular season MAC championship with a 15-3 conference mark. It was the program's third NCAA appearance in the last four seasons under head coach Kelly Miller Phillips. Thank you for this award. It Worthen is a super special place to play in, and that's just because of you guys. You know, we put in a lot of hard work this year, just like everyone else has, and hopefully do it next year. Here are your nominees for Men's Team of the Year. Here are your nominees for Men's Team of the Year. Men's Volleyball. One year after making the NCAA Final Four, the men's volleyball team became regular season MEVA champs once again. Baseball. Ball State Baseball has had a fantastic start this season with 23 wins. The Cardinals are looking for redemption come tournament time. Men's Swim and Dive. Men's Swim and Dive had an impressive season with a historic show at the MAC Championship, hosting their second most points earned since 2005. Men's Tennis. The men's tennis team clinched their spot in the MAC tournament with a 4-3 win over Buffalo. And the winner is Volleyball. Under first-year head coach Donan Cruz, Ball State Men's Volleyball won the Midwestern Intercollegiate Volleyball Association Championship and qualified for its first NCAA tournament since 2002. It did it as the number two seed nonetheless. While the Cardinals fell to eventual champion Hawaii in the semifinals, Cruz, the national coach of the year, helped bring them back to the highest level of collegiate men's volleyball. <laughs> um, honestly, first and foremost, I want to thank our amazing coaching staff. Um, when Caleb and I came here five years ago, 
we were bright-eyed f- freshmen and we wanted to leave our mark in the school and the university and we did just that um i, I i'm confident in us I'm, po- I'm 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 so proud of this team uh we literally worked for everything we got for and as i leave here i'm very excited to see what's next to this program so thank you for everything and thank you for this award thank you In my time here as a student, you know, I've been blessed to be a regular sideline reporter for both the men's and women's volleyball team. And, you know, we say it all the time on the broadcast, Muncie is the volleyball capital of the world, and you can see that here tonight. Special shout out to both volleyball programs for all the success. And today we're joined by gymnast alum Carissa Lawn, who's also part of the CVC. Can everybody give Carissa a big hand? So, Carissa, what does it mean to you to be part of the CVC? Well, first of all, special shout out to women's gymnastics, too, because they had an amazing season. Um, But that's why I like to be part of the Cardinal Varsity Club, to give back to the student athletes at Ball State, because it was such a wonderful experience for me. And so to give back and help support you guys to achieve all of your goals, whether it's on the field, in the gym, um, in the classroom, I'm glad that to be a part of that and give back. Talk about giving back. Now, seeing all these student athletes in the crowd, how special is it to you see to see for them to be rewarded, recognized, and given an opportunity to be in front of all these people too? Well, I think that's an extra special part of being a student athlete at Ball State. And I would say back in my day, which makes me sound old, um, the Chirpies wasn't a thing. So I think this is a really cool and fun event and to celebrate all of the fantastic success that you guys have had this past year. Let's give Chris another round of applause. Special thanks to her and the CBC. Now to present the Male Athlete of the Year and the Female Athlete of the Year, we have football's very own Clayton Cole and the talented and handsome Hudson French. All right, that's that old school be real. Y'all don't know about that. All right, we're starting to wrap it up here. It's it's almost my bedtime, so uh, no, I'm just kidding. But um, we have no. It actually is about my bedtime. I'm not gonna lie, my guys know. It's it's, it's early. Um, uh, but we have three awards left, and some would like to say that they're the big ones. We are getting ready to present uh two more. We've seen a lot of phenomenal athletes tonight, and a lot of phenomenal athletes over the years. But tonight, we want to represent two of them, male and female. You know. Some speak that some could possibly be in the Ball State Hall of Fame one day, but we want to represent two athletes tonight. Nominees for Athlete of the Year are the shining stars, not just of their sport, but of this university. This athlete represents what Ball State Athletics stands for by working hard and excelling, not only in their sport, but in the classroom. This athlete is a person that people gravitate towards and look towards for leadership. Here are your nominees for Male Athlete of the Year. Here are your nominees for Male Athlete of the Year. Tanashi Ndaba Zocheva, Men's Volleyball. In his first season in the Cardinal in white, Tanashi Ndaba Zocheva leads the team in kills this season and plays all the way around. Ryan Peltier, Baseball. Peltier won the Gold Glove in 2022 as the nation's best third baseman. Clayton Call, football. Call is a three-time academic All-Mac player and led the entire defense with 110 tackles, leaving him ranked fourth in the conference. Joey Ranieri, men's golf. Joey has been an integral part of the men's golf team during his time here at Ball State. He has excelled in school and golf and worked to be the best teammate he can be. And your winner for Male Athlete of the Year, Ryan Peltier, baseball. (laughs) 
after being named the MAC Defensive Player of the Year and earning a spot on the All MAC second team for back to back seasons, Peltier was awarded the first gold glove in BSU history. He recorded a team high 99 assists and 42 putouts while making just two errors and nine double plays throughout the course of Ball State season. Uh, it's an honor to represent this university. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to my teammates and my uh, family, especially my parents. Uh, another special shout out to Coach Maloney for uh, always believing in me and having my back. Uh, so thank you. Can't wait to see what we can do this year. Here are your nominees for Female Athlete of the Year. Here are your nominees for Female Athlete of the Year. Charity Griffith, Track and Field. Griffith was on the All-Mac Indoor Track and Field Team and the All-Mac Outdoor Track and Field Team for High Jump in 2022. Amy Kaplan, Women's Tennis. Kaplan has been a two-year captain, a leader of team and practices, dedicated to her classes, and a loyal teammate throughout her tennis career at Ball State. Libby Kraus, field hockey. Kraus is a servant leader on and off the field. When the team was in between coaches last spring, Libby stepped up to lead the team through a whole semester of practices and lists without a coach. Megan Teeter, gymnastics. Teeter's teammates look to her as a leader of the team. She is someone who has motivated them to accomplish a record-breaking season in 2023. And the winner is Charity Griffith. Charity Griffith was the MAC Indoor MVP, a NCAA Indoor All-American in 2022 in high jump and pentathlon, and an NCAA All-American in high jump. Griffith has broken school records in pentathlon and high jump. She is ranked top five in the nation for pentathlon and high jump in indoor 2023 season and is a favorite for the national championship in the pentathlon. Um, I just want to say I'm so thankful to be here to attend my first ever chirpies. My four years of being here, uh, I definitely want to thank God, my family, my fiance, uh, my coaches for always pushing me and driving me to where I'm at today. Um, and I also just want to say that my season isn't over, nor my team's season isn't over. Going for a MAC championship. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, a lot more to come. Um, we can do all through him who strengthens us. <laughs> yes, thank you. Can we give it up one more time for Adam and Charity, nationally recognized athletes here at Penn State? How about that? And now we have the honor of introducing our university's president, Jeffrey Mearns. Now, please welcome Ball State University president, Jeffrey Mearns. How about a big round of applause for Mick? and Madison. So I am so fortunate to serve you as the president of Ball State University, and it's an honor and a privilege to be able to present the final award of the evening. And the reason I say I am so fortunate to be the president here at Ball State is because all of you, the way you compete, the way you excel in the classroom, and the way you represent the entire Ball State community on campus and in the community and all across the country with character. 
So also, before we conclude, let's reflect for just a moment about how fortunate we all are to be able to gather this evening to celebrate the Chirpies, to recognize the contributions of all of our student athletes, all of our coaches and our staff, and the support of our family and friends. How about a big round of applause for everyone? So speaking of character, I now present the heart of the Cardinal Award. This is an award that recognizes a compassionate Ball State student athlete who is committed to living the Beneficence Pledge. This individual has devoted time and attention to serving our community selflessly, and it's now my honor to present to you tonight's nominees. Here are your nominees for Heart of the Cardinal. Clayton Call, football. Paul is a 2022-23 Ball State Top 50 student, has been a part of BSU Football Leadership Council and Academic All-Mac in 2020, 21, and 2022. Remington Ross, softball. Ross completed over 30 hours of community service in the fall at Second Harvest Food Bank in Muncie, and she is also a head member of the FCAIA. Vince Orlando, men's tennis. Orlando serves on the SAAC Executive Board and helps run an athlete Bible study at his church. Grace Evans, Gymnastics. Evans is the head of the Community Outreach Committee and goes out of her way to plan community service events. And the winner is... Clayton Cole. Yeah. Clayton Cole was a 2022 nominee for the Warfel Trophy, an award given to a college football player that best combines exemplary community service with athletic and academic achievement. Cole was a 2022-23 Ball State Top 50 student and was on the BSU Football Leadership Council and was named Academic All-Mac in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Uh, you know, there, it's, I take this as an honor. There's a lot of great student athletes that do a lot for this university and this, this community more than just be an athlete. But I, I do take it as a great honor and I truly appreciate it. Um, coming up here, I, I, I would have to thank you, say thank you to my wife, Allie. She has done everything for me and she would not, I would not be here today if it wasn't for her. Uh, I, I love my teammates. I appreciate you guys. You no, know, it's not just me. We do a lot. We do as much as we can um, for the community and for uh, everything other than just, just be athletes, uh, friends and family. I thank them a lot. Um, but just... I kind of look at Ball State as, you know, kind of like my, my hometown now. I've been here for almost five years. It's been a great place. And as Kyron Mims like to say, it's a parade inside my city. Yeah. Congratulations again, Clayton. Let's hear it one more time, guys. And a big congratulations to everyone who won tonight, but just all of you guys in general for fantastic seasons, fantastic careers. We are so thankful you all are here and celebrating with us. And tonight's celebration wouldn't be possible without so many special people. First off, President Burns and the entire president's office. The Sports Link and Athletics. Of course, the coaches and the athletes that we've been able to celebrate tonight. The CVC, Feed the Bird Foundation, and of course, King Calloway. Take it away, King Calloway. Let's go. Can we give another round of applause to all the winners tonight?
We've got a couple microphones missing if we can find them for these two lovely gentlemen over here. <laughs> All right. You can share mine if you want. Y'all, we've had such a wonderful time with y'all tonight, and we hope to be back very soon, but we'll leave you with a few more songs. You boys ready? know this one let's sing it together
understand what I'm going through It's only me What you got to lose Make up your mind, tell me What are you gonna do It's only me Let it go All right, y'all, we got one more left. Thank you again so much for welcoming us. It's been a very, very kind welcome. Y'all have some really cool people over here that treated us very well. And give it up for yourselves. Y'all are amazing athletes here. Do you mind, do you mind giving us some help with this last song, if that's all right? Can we, can we do a little singing tonight? We're going to teach you this part real quick. This song is called I'm Feeling Good. And that's just the hook of the song. It's super easy. It's three words. I'm going to teach it to you real quick, all right? So it goes like this. I'm feeling good, good, good. I'm feeling good, good, good. All right, that's super easy, right? Can we, can we sing that real quick? All right, one, two. I'm feeling good. That's gonna be in the bridge. So when it comes around, you know what to do. Thanks, y'all. We've been King Calloway. Please follow us on socials. We're at King Calloway on all the things, on the talk, on the Instagram, all that stuff. So please give us a follow. And let's do this. Here we go.